All right, thanks. Uh, Coach, uh, obviously um, a difficult football game, but, but a, a very difficult final sequence in, in the last 36 seconds, three personal fouls. Yep. Uh, your impressions, what you were told, what you saw, just as you look at that final sequence. You know, uh, it, it's hard to see. Uh, you know, I was told that uh, one of our guys retaliated and they're always going to see the second guy. And then uh, the helmet came off and to them, it looked like the player took the helmet off on the field. And uh, then we, we hit the snapper and the rule in college football is you can't jump over the snapper. You can't touch the snapper. And, you know, they got to throw the flag. Right. So I, I don't fault the, uh, the officials at all. You know, we got to, you know, we, as I tell them, we got to win and lose with class. You know, we're, 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 in the, we're in the final moments of the game. That's when we got to be at our sharpest, right? And uh, we just didn't have the discipline uh, down the stretch to, uh, to win the football game. Coach, talk a little bit about, obviously, there are ebbs and flows with your young quarterback. A um, couple of interceptions that were costly, but then uh, what did you see on the final drive when you actually you did tie the football game? You know, he's a competitor. I think we all know that he's going to compete, and, and uh, he's still a young guy and uh, believes he can make every single play. Um, you know, he's going he's gonna to have to grow through that, and hopefully uh, it, it, the, the learning curve happens fast. Uh, but, you know, the kid's just trying to make a play. You know, and it's our job as coaches to, to, to teach him and coach him, you know, not to, to, in critical situations, not to put the ball in jeopardy. Uh, because you put the ball in jeopardy versus a good football team, uh, they're going to take it away from you. Coach, defensively, you really had to reach from a depth standpoint. When you lose Cam Butler, Ben Smiley wasn't available, so there were some new bodies in there, and yet defensively, Plays were made, turnover yep. caused. What did you see defensively? Yeah, just proud of those guys for, for stepping up. I mean, this is a game of next man up. You know, nobody nobody cares if you don't have depth. Uh, I know that they had some players down, and you got to go play, and, and you got to go do your job. And that's why when you practice, you got to have the mindset that there is no first team, second team, third team, everybody's first team ready to play. But really proud of, of, of Bryce Carter for stepping in there. I saw T.T. Uh, Jones in there. You know, Micah is a guy that, that's played mostly on special team. He comes up uh, with a big, uh, a big pick there uh, uh, to give a, to take, actually take away a scoring opportunity, right? They're driving and uh, he can, they got, they got good field position and, and he comes up with a pick. So overall, I'm really proud of, of how the guys competed. Um, I mean, it's, it's, trust me. It's tough and it hurts to, to lose this way, uh, but but we're going we're going to go back to work. We're going to build upon the positive, correct the uh, the things where we got to improve, and and you know try and figure out how to go one and zero next week up at Boston College. Uh, Jeff and uh, Greg. After after the penalty on the two point conversion, Gaynard had to kick off from the twenty. It looked like he put the ball where you would want him to. Yeah, were you uh, happy with the kickoff in that case. We were trying to kick it away from number eight. I mean, he's a dangerous guy. I mean, if you if you watched the VMI game, he took two kickoff returns to the house. One of them was called back uh, for a. Uh, for a holding penalty. And so, you know, all night it was kind of cat and mouse. Uh, just did, didn't want that guy uh, to beat us because we knew in order for us to have a chance in this ball game period, we were going to have to to, to, to ease, make a draw or win the special teams matchup. And so I thought he put it there and then we lost contain. Uh, but the, the bottom line is, you know, 36 seconds left on the clock and you're kicking from the 20. That's automatic field position right there with a, with a dangerous offense. Uh, the ability, they, I think they had two timeouts uh, still. And and you give them you give them good field position just be, just with the penalty alone, uh, but we broke we lost contain there um, and uh, and they spit it out a little bit further uh, than uh, than we would like and you know just a, just a tough lesson for uh, for our football team to learn tonight. Calandria had the the three fourth quarter interceptions last week two tonight. What did yeah. you tell them before that that last drive before you guys were able to tie the game? You know it's it's just man take care of the ball. Um, you know, take care of the ball, you know, be aggressive, but be smart, learn from your mistakes. And in the first one, I mean, the guy made a competitive play, right? Uh, Malachi's behind him. So, you know, I'm not going to sit there and nitpick at that. You know, he's just got to get the ball, you know, a little bit further. The guy made a play and tips or picks, right? The second one, you know, is, is a situation where a kind of learned from, from last week. And, and hopefully this is the, the last time that he has to experience that. Just run the ball, uh, protect uh, protect the opportunity to, to score. And, and again, he's a competitor. I think that's what makes him special, is he believes that he can make every throw in every situation. Um, but he'll he'll learn. And, and I tell you what, there's nobody in that locker room that's more hurt uh, than, uh, than number 10, because uh, he wanted, to, he wanted to, to lead his team uh, to victory today. Yeah. 
Yeah, they were they were there. They they did. They got off the field. They found a way to get off the field and and uh and we gave up a couple of long ones that you like to see us, you know, really really take advantage of, but you know, uh the last couple of weeks coach Russ doing done a good job of mixing things up, trying to get pressure on the quarterback and I feel like we've improved, you know, just disrupting the timing uh, of the uh, of the quarterback and not letting them get settled uh, on some of your third down situations. But uh, but overall, man, the kids they played really hard. Man, and 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 as 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 frustrating and, and and disappointed as I am, man, that's that's a that's a football team in there that that has not lost belief, right? They keep showing up every single day. They're battling adversity, right? And they're learning, you know, how to win. So now we got it to the fourth quarter. Now we're in there at the end of the game. We got to learn from this because you gotta you gotta win close games. That's ACC football. You gotta win close games in the uh, in the fourth quarter and. Um, you know, if I know anything about that bunch in there, they're resilient, and they'll, they'll keep scrapping, they'll keep fighting. Can you talk about the two-point play uh, after the penalty? Did you have to change the play, <laughs> and, and the end result was that an improv? Impro that was an imp improv. That was an improvision, and trust me, we don't have any two-point plays from the 17-yard line, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, you know, I'm glad that we can can smile a little bit because you just don't have any, like, you know, as a, as a coordinator, when you're talking about, like, fourth and 17 from the 17 to score to win the game or third and 17, like, you just don't have plays to Field zone is is condensed and uh, and I think uh, Calandria bought enough time and and put one up and and Malachi went up and made a play and that's that's really what that what that was and you know hopefully our guys will learn from the significance that you get caught up in a personal battle in the moment and now it puts you in a situation where I mean let's be honest typically you don't overcome uh, a situation like that it was just a heck of a play by two guys playing backyard football. Kobe and Mike. Yeah. I think it's it's tough sledding for versus that defense. If you watch them, that structure is is built to have seven, eight guys around the box. Um, you know, they 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 work versus the the wide zone, uh, so they were able to make some. Um, Make some adjustments. You know, I felt like we, we, we had a couple runs there that we might have cut back a little bit too early. Disappointed in the short yardage. You know, we got to convert those situations. Took a chance, um, and the guys bailed me out. Took a chance there early in the game on fourth and one. It was really a fourth and inches. You know, felt like we, we, we should be able to get that. Um, but we'll go back to work and, and look at it. And, and obviously, we, we weren't able to, to run it there kind of middle of the game, but we found some run game. But I thought the guys pass protected, you know, relatively well, gave them a chance. So, in the pocket. So we'll go back to work and we'll get better at that. Tony, a little more on a couple of those fourth down decisions. The, the fourth and short near midfield, your defense was playing, playing well. well. You give them the short field. What was behind that Man, decision? It was, it was six inches, right? Six inches and, and mindset mentality, being aggressive. Man, I told the guys we don't have anything to lose. Felt like, uh, but I probably should have called a timeout and, and really talked about it and got, you know, the best possible play call. But, man, defense is playing, you know, is playing well at that time. Man, it's six inches. We got to be able to go get that. You know, I don't care, you know, what run scheme you run. You got to be able to get six inches. Do you work much under center, or is that not something that you No, we work, we work under center. Yes, we do. We do work under center. But, again, you know, for, for 10, that's he hasn't been up under center a lot, you know. So so let's do what you do. And and I come from a uh, a, a shotgun offense philosophy, and that's always the debate. And most of your shotgun offense uh, guys are going to tell you, you know, you do it all practice, you do it all game, then you go into the most critical time, and then you ask them to do something different. So you know, I wouldn't second guess, you know, being in the gun, uh, but I could have of of called time out there and and just talked about what's the best play. But uh, I believe I still would have went for it. But what I could have done better is, is burn the time out there. And, and, and give everybody a chance to talk about it a little bit more. And then what about the uh, fourth and short where you elect to kick the field gotta goal? Got to take points. You know, got to take, take points in that situation. You know, it's, it's, it's a uh, – at, at that point, what was it? It was uh, – was it 14-10 or 14-7? 10. 14-10. 10? Yeah, 14-10. Yeah, we just got to take points, you know, and, and didn't want to – you know, got to reward the defense. Right and, and and come away with some points and and see can we now put it in the hands of special teams and then see if we can possibly you know get a good kickoff good kickoff coverage and then you know down them on a short field for the uh, and w backed up for the defense and then get a short field for the offense. So our last two questions from Doug and Andy. Knowing what you know about Brennan, how much, how well do you think your team handled handled Brennan tonight? 
You know, it's, I mean, we got to watch the tape. I mean, he made some plays now. He, he, he made some plays in the game. I think about that, that third and 13 where he's, you know, he, he made some throws. Uh, when, he, when he wanted to run the ball, he was able to run the ball with a little bit of effectiveness at times. But, but overall, uh, I thought the guys uh, did a good job of managing the week. He's been a great player here. Yeah, great player, man. And, 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 and I'll say this, and, and, and I mean this with all sincerity. You know, I'm, I'm a Brandon Armstrong fan. Right, like he did so much for this university. He did so much for me last year, man. He really, really put his heart and soul into trying to help with the transition. And so, um, you know, really, uh, you know, excited to see him get an opportunity to come back. It's kind of weird, you know, and he'd probably even say it's a little bit different coming into the stadium as an, as an opposing guy, but he handled it well. Uh, my, my message to the guys is we weren't going to make this personal because there's nothing to make it personal about. He did everything the right way while he was here. He did everything uh, the right way when it was time for him to transition. Um, and it was time for us to, to line up across from him and see can we put together a game plan uh, to handle him and, and give ourselves a chance to win. Yeah, whether it's fourth quarter, fourth down, or even some of those third downs, what does this team need to do to I don't know, learn how to finish or just learn that you know, clutch mentality? So we took a step. Right, we took a step tonight, and you know they had a chance. They had a chance to 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 kind of melt and, and wither late in the game, and they found a way to keep fighting all the way to the end. Right, and now we have to go. As I told them in the locker room, we got to go, you know, 59 minutes and and 20 something seconds. Right, and and that's how long we went. We got to go 60. Right, we got to we got to finish it. We can't lose our composure. We got we got to believe that we're supposed to be right there, and then when we get there, we got to act like we like, like we've been there. But I did see progress, um, just overall from a mentality standpoint. First of all, for these guys to come back to work and put themselves in position to get it to a fourth quarter game. So I think they're starting to understand and believe what it takes to win consistently. Right, you got to have the mindset that you're going to play a four quarter game every time you line up. There are no like your 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 objective is to get the game to the fourth. And then at that point, I lock in. I have more discipline. I have more focus, right? Then my competitor and I finish the game. So, what we got to do is, is is go back and 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 they did, with the exception of three plays late in the game with 36 seconds left on the clock. We lost, you know, our cool. We got caught up in some personal battles, and and unfortunately, uh, as I told them, that earned us, you know, the the wrong side of the of the game, and didn't give us an opportunity to try and see if we can get it to overtime.